Hi everyone, it's Diane. Welcome back to my channel, Scrap Attic Creations. Today we are going to continue with the calendar and we are working with the These Are The Days calendar kit. We will be doing October, November, and December. And then we will do the cover tomorrow as well as I'll come up with something we can do with the extra bits. So it'll be more of a share, I believe, tomorrow. So I will get to scrapping these layouts. Now we're going to work on October. Let's see here. We've got this layout right here, the bits for this. We've got some stickers, which we'll go through in a second. And then we've got this paper. Now, this is the paper that they chose to do the whole layout in. This is a little busy for me. The whole thing is a little busy for me, but this is a little busier. And I felt like, let me grab this again, that the, like the journaling down here kind of gets lost. I do, I'm, I'm okay. I don't care for pumpkin spice. I like pumpkin pie a bit. You know, I'm just not a big pumpkin person. I love this little um, title piece. It is way too big. It is running five by four. So four by five for this big thing. On an eight by eight layout, there's no way. I don't even think I would put this on an eight and a half by 11 layout. It's just too big. It does take up this big, huge section right up here. Now I love these wood grain leaves. I would buy this whole set just for these darn leaves and there's only two. <laughs> okay, so I've got these. I did not put the photo pieces on there yet. I need to do that. Let me grab some. We're gonna do that together. In fact, I don't believe I put adhesive on anything. Okay, so let's quickly put some adhesive on here and then these will stay in place and won't come off. So the, the photo mats are in Mocha. They did come with the layout. And I did them uh, four and a, or three and a fourth by four and a fourth. I always try to say the smallest number first and don't always, I don't always get that way. I sometimes put the larger number there. Okay, so we got that one and let's put this one. So for this layout, we're gonna have two three by four photo spots. Okay, so if I change this and turn this to the back side of the leaf paper and then I put a little bit of leaf paper and I love this strip. Now they put the strip clear up at the top up here. I liked it right about there. I just thought it looked nice. Then we can put those. I got a little heart here. I don't know where I want to put that. Oops, I've got a star left over from the last one. Let me set that aside. And let's see here. We've got I don't want to put that like that, maybe like that. I just really like that. And then the sticker is just, let's see, these two pieces right here and this piece. I think it's all that they're calling for on this one. Oh, gather gather as well okay so I've got to put some adhesive on here as you can see there's a little 10 there that means that this was for the 10th layout I like how they they give you that information so that you know where you're putting stuff let's put this down Ooh, this little check gets a little dizzy Hound's tooth. Okay. And let's just put some adhesive there. Okay, let's line this puppy up ish. Okay. And put this piece down. Once we get the basics down, then we can start playing with those stickers. If I'm not kicking the, the layout all over, I did not put glue dots on any of these. Put that right there. And then, 
want it a little bit down, so let's start right there. Okay, so that's really easy. Maybe a little closer. Okay, so I do like that. I like these little, just tucked right here. I think that looks really cute. Put this little guy up here. Kind of tones that down a smidge. Put these like right here. I like that. And then I can pop gather. Okay, so let's put these down. I know I put the stickers down before they put the photo mats. I was just too excited. Too excited. really think this is pretty. These papers are just beautiful. If you haven't gotten this on order yet, you really need to just go get it because it's just a really cool set. And I only bought the, the smallest version of this. I didn't buy the large version where you can get the 12 by 12 calendar. You can get the stamp sets, you know, all of that. I don't need the stamp sets because I use them more for layouts. So having a calendar style stamp set which I will let me put this down and then I will show you because it is on this page this front page let me put the pen in here real quick so it says these are the days stamp set there's just a bunch of calendar bits celebrate game day lunch date play date friend vacation brunch holiday appointment day night relax big day family and then time competition to do and birthday. So they're really cute. They've got these little banners and stuff, but they are geared towards putting it on the base calendar, which I also don't need because I don't use those pieces. But if you do, these are great pieces for, you know, whatever you need. So make sure to grab that up because these are really fun. And it's nice. They're just, you know, basically the cut above kits that have all of the bits already planned out for us. I think I like that gather. Though that makes me kind of feel like this is more of a Thanksgiving layout, but the Thanksgiving layout's beautiful. Let's see here. I'm going to put that right there. There we go. So just some planning on the side and we've got a really cute, simple layout. This one is adorable. I hope you enjoy that one. jump into November. Got my glue and my tape. I have not adhered anything down. Um, so this one is November. It says grateful on it. We've got some stickers up here that I'm going to try to use. We've got these die cuts. Uh, family and friends is on there. Let's see anything else. Looks like these two bits right here. Those are kind of cute. I think that looks like about it. Okay, so I've removed these pieces right here. And I've got them in case, you know, we need to use them anywhere. They're just really cute. Oh, I used this in the other one. So this paper, isn't that adorable? And then this is just that stripe. The backside is this um, plaid, which, you know, I always love a good plaid. So I did fussy cut around all of these flowers. They have that white border that, you know, I, I love so much. So I <laughs> got rid of that and just was kind of playing with the flowers. I'm going to kind of shove them all up to the top right now. Um, we've got the grateful, which I think is really cool. Um, I wish they were, had the hole down here, but they didn't. It's kind of weird because they have it up here and things. So... I don't know why they couldn't do that as well. We've got these bits and let me grab the photo placement bit. Oops. So this, these are all the photo placement pieces that come with the set. I tend to not use them and just give them to my friend because I don't need them all, but I am going to use them of course for this layout. So this is kind of the base and then that sticker that goes right there. Let's grab some adhesive real quick. And it does say place photo here on both sides. One is horizontal, one is vertical. 
So that helps as well. So you can read it from all angles, unless you put it upside down, which I have actually done. They're easy to fix though. A little bit of static, bear with me on that. Okay, so this has got that mocha. I don't believe, I believe it's mocha on here. It just, it looks mocha-y. It doesn't look um, early espresso. Not early espresso, um, espresso. I think it's just espresso. Yeah, espresso, sorry. Um, it looks really well with these papers. So this um, mocha color works really well with these papers. Let me add some of this. So this one says layout 11. I believe I, you know, I didn't look. Yep, layout 11. So it's nice. They're all numbered for what layout we're working on. Uh, the die cuts, when you get the die cut sheet, the numbers are around the edges on those. I'm just going to kind of put that there. And then pull this off. And you know what? I can cut this and use this one strip for all of these. So let's... Let's do that. And I just put it, you know, like I, you just saw, I just put it on here. And then I can trim the edges as needed off the side of the layout. Easy to do. And I have one more strip that I can use for a later project. Always good. Okay, and let's put this down. And then we'll work on those flowers. Aren't they beautiful? Kind of got a watercolor feel to them. Oh, yeah, I really like how this rose colored. It's kind of the dusty rose. Not dusty rose. What is it? Desert rose. I'm not great with names apparently today. <laughs> Sorry about that. So this one, it's kind of got this uh, scarlet look. And this has kind of got the nectarine feel to it. Let me grab some pop tape because I definitely want some of these popped. This is a two-piece one, so I'm going to, I was going to split them up and then I decided I just liked them as is. So we're just going to put those up at the top. Let me do that. And I think I need to leave, let's put it this way. Yeah. I'm going to put it that way, and then I didn't take off the adhesive right on these two. And then we'll grab out some adhesive and put some leaves over here. Just a little bit of glue on that one. Mm. Let's put that there. Okay. And on the top one, what else did they put? They've got one of the greener leaves. Let's find that. We could put that. I want that over here. Let's see. I think I kind of like it over here, but I'm going to trim that in my fancy way of just tearing it. And put this over here. And then they had one of these up here. Hmm, not loving that. Okay, not on that one. Um, they have a little more, so I'm going to put another leaf up here. You know what, I really want that leaf under this one. Let's see if I can pull up on that. Yeah, I like that better. Okay, that's feeling pretty good up there. Let's move down here and then we will fill in more where we need to. But I like how that kind of goes around there. So we've got four flowers left. And this one seems to be kind of the, the big hitter. So if we popped that down here, 
maybe we just have the one orange or maybe we just have look at that it's too much okay, i'm going to set that aside i'm going to put pop tape on this um, scarlet e-color one and i'm going to grab some glue dots I'll grab a couple glue dots Nice thing about the glue dots is it only gets in the center. So let's see here. Yeah, that'll work. So let's take this one. Mmm. Hmm. The grateful. Maybe I can't put the pop tape on this one because the grateful I wanted right here. Let me look at that. Yeah, I'm going to have to take the pop tape off of this one. So no pop tape on the bottom one because of the grateful going down there. Oops, it's sticking to me. It'll still look really cool. It's just going to be a little different. Okay. And there was a reason I had three glue dots. Let's add some of these bits. Oh no, I just lost my pen. It's been trying to go down there for days. It just finally won. Okay, and this one. Put some leaves, kind of slide those in behind. Let's grab these leaves here. Oops, that's got a, it's got an extra little bit on it of the kind of a um, fir tree, pine tree type thing on that one. Let's see here. I think I'll add this one to this little one. Yeah. Yep, I like that. Hmm, I'll get some of the fur up here, maybe. Or maybe not. Maybe we'll just leave that. Let's look at the grateful over this. I like that. Okay. I am going to add some adhesive from the R on. Because I want a photo to be able to go on this. So this can be glued down later. And then we have some hearts. Let's see how we want those to go. Yep, I like that. That's looking great. Isn't this a nice one? They really took a lot of time with November. Made it look fantastic. I'm gonna toss these little bits. I'm gonna keep this flower though, because it's really pretty. Yeah, I don't think it'll do well being by itself. Okay, so I'm going to go find a pen to stick in there because I think I've lost the other one. But let's share this one real quick. Isn't that cute? Oh, love it. Now let's move on to December. It is a very beautiful layout. It's got this nice plaid. It's got this scallop circle that, of course, we're not using the scallop circle as the scallop circle. I do love it, though. It really is pretty. Um, and when I do these but in 8.5 by 11, for the other, I will be using that circle because I love it. Uh, we've got Merry and Bright and To the World, I believe, are the only stickers. I didn't use these on that last one. If I feel like it, maybe we can pull them in here. I don't know. We'll see. 
So yes, I have mangled the scallop circle. I, it took me a while to do it too, because I really do like it, but I do have all these little bits now. I could use them in cards or something. This is the back side of that paper. Isn't it beautiful? I love it. Love this paper. And then we've got the zip strips and such. Let me set that aside. So we have the plaid because it's adorable. And then we've got, let me actually scoot that over. We've got the zip strip and then a zip strip from, it says in here where the other one's from. I just grabbed it. Uh, it does not say where it's from. Hmm. Well, that's not good. Okay. Oh, and you know what? I don't have that one here. There it is. Let me grab that. Um, you know what? I don't think I want that one there. I think I like just the two. Let's see how that looks. Um, you know what? I actually might do. I'm covering up so much of that. Maybe I'll put these down here. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe those will go down there. And then we've got, let's see, how does this flower go? Kind of this way. We could put that there. And we could put the joy right here. Oh, I kind of like that. It's a little different than what I had originally intended. We could put this here. Or we could put it up here. They put it down here at the bottom with the Merry and Bright. And then we've got some little berries that out of the wood grain um, die cuts. Those are cute. That. And then we've got some stars. Let's kind of litter them around. And let's grab those stickers. So I could do, I, that's not of course on there, but we could put that on there if we want to pull it in. I'm not sure on that one, how I'm feeling. Let me grab those pop tapes I took off of last layout. So let's see. I like this. I like this better than where I was headed in the first place. When I was first playing with this, and every time I've played with it, I had the scallop circle on half on here because I wasn't sure I wanted to cut it. I wasn't sure if I, what I wanted to do. So I'm really glad I decided just to map this on there. You don't get to see as much of it, but it is still pretty. And let's kind of see. Let's put these on first. So it's the green one. So this is probably pine. It looks very piney. And pine is one of the colors on this one. Let's make sure we're straight. And let's start at the three and go to the three. And then I kind of started that off a little bit. Let's. I love when it's actual, and it sounds weird, close to my heart paper because. It, when it's the cut above kits, their paper's a little thinner, but these are the actual papers from the kits. And this is from the winter version of the Four Seasons, which is adorable. Beautiful paper, very beautiful paper. You know what, I'm gonna start this from this other side it's kind of giving me troubles. And the side that's more important is this side. Let's put down this photo mat. I'm going to grab this piece though. 
I'm going to have that there. Yeah, I like it down a little. I think I had a little higher when I was playing with it. Okay. This piece up here, let's just put a little bit of adhesive. I would glue that, but I want to make sure that it doesn't take too much of the space up here so that if there's a picture going on there, it's not covering that up or making that difficult. Okay, do those in a bit. Double check. Okay, I'm going to pop this one. Originally, I had thought I was going to put the joy over it, but I wasn't caring for the O bean on the white flower. It looked kind of wonky doodle, wackadoodle. And so the only way around that was not to put it over that. So that's why that's not there. Got some little ones here. And I did, of course, fussy cut around all of these. Got rid of as much white as I could. And I'm just going to put this here. And then I'm going to trim. And right here, I'm going to trim that and I'm going to add a little bit of glue and stick that under because I really like the piece. I think I'm going to, I'm going to lose a lot of it. It's slippery. It's little and slippery. This one under, and then we'll put this one. Just kind of changing it up a smidge so that we can get that little flower, because that's a cute little flower right there. This one is another one that is going to give me troubles. And I'm cutting with the wrong not the center, just the point of my scissors. So it's not a perfect cut, but it now is there and it looks a lot better. Okay. Now we can stick some of these in here because these are fun. This one should be able to go in here. Stick this over here. Yeah, that works good. Okay, and then we've just got this one. Well, let's just kind of stick that over here. There. We can see it and it looks pretty. Okay, and we'll do the joy right here. Now this is looking much better than it was when I was playing with it the first time. Mm -hmm. mm. Get some more pop tapes. I think I want to pop this little guy in the corner there. Put this on here for a sec. And then did we want to do that? Do that under. Looking up the camera to see. I really don't know. I guess I can just leave it there. And whoever's making the calendar can decide if they want it there themselves. Let's put a star maybe there. A little one there, a little one there, 
Hmm. It looks kind of blank up here, but that looks kind of silly and not purposeful. I kind of like it there. Okay, we'll do that. And actually, even though I put the glue on it, I'm going to pull that up and I'm going to pop it. There we go. Okay, well, we're done with December. I am really happy with this. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So now we've completed October, November, and December. Here is the final look at October. Those leaves are adorable. Here is November. Oh, so fun. And we did omit the um, the banners and that little family and friends. There was just too much going on here, but it turned out really cute. Really happy with that one. And December. Oh, it's beautiful. Love, love, love this paper. If you haven't already gotten it, you need to get it. It's it just came out, of course, but it is amazing. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to come and play today. Please like and subscribe if you would like to see more of my videos. Leave a comment and have an amazing rest of your day. I'll see you soon. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.